Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight for Eyewitness News First at 10. I'm Jamie Agile. A state Supreme Court judge in Steuben County has ruled in favor of the plaintiffs in a lawsuit attempting to disqualify the newly redrawn district maps for New York State's congressional and legislative districts. Within the state's process to meet the constitutional mandate to review and, if needed, redraw the voting districts for the Federal House of Representatives and State Senate and Assembly, an independent commission drew up new maps but they failed to gain acceptance of their concept by the deadline of February 28th. The next step in the process was to have the Democrat-controlled legislature draw the lines. Judge Patrick McAllister agreed with the plaintiff's argument that the 2014 amendment to the state constitution is flawed and does not assure that the independent commission would deliver bipartisan supported maps. Therefore, Judge McAllister has invalidated the current redistrict maps and ordered the state legislature to come up with new maps by April 11th. Judge McAllister also notes in his ruling that this is not the end of this process and appeals are expected. Similar court battles over redrawn maps in the state were waged in the courts a decade ago. And lawmakers in both the Senate and Assembly have adjourned session for the day. Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine telling us what this means when it comes to the budget deadline.